Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we will discuss a question which says that a square ABCD has vertices A with coordinates minus 1, 3, B with coordinates 3, 3, C with coordinates 3, minus 1, and D with coordinates minus 1, minus 1. Find the image of the square after reflection in y-axis. Now before starting the solution of this question, we should know a result. And that is reflection in y-axis. Now, to reflect any figure in y-axis on the coordinate plane, we multiply the vertex matrix on the left by the 2 cross 2 matrix, that is the matrix with elements in first row as minus 1, 0 and elements in second row as 0, 1. Now this result will work out as a key idea for solving out the given question. Now let us start with the solution of the given question. Now we are given square ABCD and we have to reflect the square in y axis. First we plot it on the coordinate plane. Now vertices are given to us as A, B, C and D and the coordinates of all these vertices are also given. So let us plot these points on the coordinate plane. So we have plotted all the points on the coordinate plane. And joining all these points, we get the square A, B, C, D. Now we have to reflect it in Y axis. First of all, we write the vertex matrix in which elements of row 1 are X coordinates of all the vertices and elements of row 2 are Y coordinates of all the vertices. So vertex matrix is a matrix with elements in first row as minus 1, 3, 3 and minus 1 and elements in second row as 3, 3 minus 1 and minus 1. Now we have to find the coordinates of the reflected image. Now from the key idea we know that for reflection in y axis we multiply the vertex matrix on the left by this matrix having elements in first row as minus 1 0 and elements in second row as 0 1. Now let us find the product of this 2 by 2 matrix and this vertex matrix. Now this is a 2 cross 2 matrix and the vertex matrix has 2 rows and 4 columns. So it is a 2 cross 4 matrix. Now here number of columns of this square matrix is equal to number of rows of this vertex matrix. So this product is defined. And the resulting matrix will be of order 2 cross 4. Now for obtaining the elements of the product matrix, we multiply the elements of each row of this first matrix by the corresponding elements of each column of the second matrix, that is the vertex matrix. So we have a matrix with elements in first row as minus 1 into minus 1 plus 0 into 3 then minus 1 into 3 plus 0 into 3 then we have minus 1 into 3 plus 0 into minus 1 and here we have minus 1 into minus 1 plus 0 into minus 1 and elements in second row as 0 into minus 1 
plus 1 into 3, then 0 into 3 plus 1 into 3, then 0 into 3 plus 1 into minus 1, and 0 into minus 1 plus 1 into minus 1. Further, on simplifying, we have a matrix with elements in first row as 1 plus 0, minus 3 plus 0, minus 3 plus 0, and 1 plus 0, and the elements in second row as 0 plus 3, 0 plus 3, 0 minus 1, and 0 minus 1. This is equal to matrix with elements in first row as 1, minus 3, minus 3, and 1, and elements in second row as 3, 3, minus 1, and minus 1. Now this product matrix will give us the vertices of the reflected image in y-axis. So vertices of reflected image are a dash with coordinates 1, 3, b dash with coordinates minus 3, 3, c dash with coordinates minus 3, and minus 1 and d dash with coordinates 1 and minus 1. Now let us plot these points on the coordinate plane. So we have the image points a dash with coordinates 1 3, b dash with coordinates minus 3 3, c dash with coordinates minus 3 minus 1 and d dash with coordinates 1 minus 1 and on joining all these points that is on joining the image points we get the square a dash b dash c dash d dash which is the reflected image of square a b c d in y axis so this is the solution of the given question and that's all for the session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.